So I'm walking here along Torrey Pines Beach in San Diego. And this is a beach I basically grew up going to. I have a ton of childhood memories from this beach. It's basically my beach. Um, but I've never been here to do landscape photography. So, let's try and get some seascape photos. Got my camera, tripod, shutter fingers ready. We'll see what we can find. So there's basically so many different opportunities for compositions when you're at the seashore. But I'm basically just looking for something very simple. Rocks, the moving water, and uh, that's all you need. If you have moving water, you can have a really simple subject and it can still be a pretty powerful image because the movement in the water just brings so much energy into the photograph. So I'm going to be looking at the rocks. Kind of a long exposure, and when I say long exposure, I'm, I mean one to two seconds probably which is just enough to capture the movement of the water, but not so much that it just turns into this white mist. And you know what, I'm basically talking and I haven't even found my composition, so I need to get to work and then I'll figure out all these details. Let's go look around for a composition. One thing to keep in mind, you gotta try your best not to get sand all over. So once I've taken my camera out and my tripod out, I basically avoid packing it up and putting it back in my bag because every time I set my bag down I'm getting little bits of sand everywhere and looks like with these compositions I'm gonna be taking my shoes off rolling my pants up because I'm gonna be getting a little wet boom here we are set up with the Canon 6D my 17 to 40 millimeter lens and a polarizer and all I'm doing is waiting for these waves to crash in and then hit this rock right here in front of me and once those, that water starts to recede out, I take my photo and you get kind of a cool effect, some cool motion with the uh, water there. Here, here it comes. Ah. It's receding, snap my photo. Oh, looks good, looks very good. And uh, as the sun starts to set here, I'll be able to get longer and longer shutter speeds. Right now I'm only at an eighth of a second and I would really like that to be more like one and a half seconds. But we'll see. Got a splash of water on my polarizer, so I had to clean that off. So definitely a difficult photo shoot, and I didn't get as much as I wanted in terms of colors in the sky. I mean, we're getting a little bit of colors there, but it's not the bright, fiery sunset I'd hoped. So you'll probably see most of my pictures aren't facing the sunset. Let me try and get one though. Maybe I can get some reflections of the sky back there in the background and see if I can make something work with that. All right, probably got about one more composition left in me and then I'm gonna have to pack up and go. So this color in the sky is really happening. I went and grabbed a six stop filter and I'm heading back to this composition I was just at because I want to get a long exposure. But just look at this sky. Oh, that sky. I'm gonna need to move quickly. I have one last simple composition here. Basically just some rocks. All right, I've got about a Oh, I think that was about 10 second exposure and it's underexposed, so I've got to keep working. And let's do 15 seconds. This is at ISO 500 because I just don't want it, the exposure to be too long. 
I normally shoot at ISO 100, but you're not going to know a difference between 100 and 500. The way it just smooths out the water, incredible. I'll try a few more without the filter and, and then I'll wrap it up. Well, it's getting dark and I need to pack this stuff up, but I think you can tell why I love the seashore. Just, just so many compositions, and sometimes you're treated to that sky. Just incredible. Beautiful, beautiful sky. The reds in that sky are just so vivid. It's something else. So, time to get packed up, but thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video and Feel free to check out my other videos. Until next time, see ya.